Blender is attracting more new add-on developers who are building new tools and functions for Blender. This time we are seeing improvements in areas like the asset browser. Creating an asset in the built-in browser often takes a lot of time. You have to render the thumbnail for each asset, making the process tedious and repetitive, especially if you have a large collection of objects you want to add at once. This add-on developer saw this flow in the asset browser as an opportunity to flex his programming muscles, giving us a more improved and polished version called the Asset Library Builder. You can select as many objects as you want and add them to your library in one go. The add-on will render and add them all at once, saving you a lot of clicking. It does not stop there. It also introduces a new simple interface in the 3D view area to let you search and add your assets easily saving you space since you won't need a separate window for your asset browser. You guys loved Easy Fog. Over 5,000 of you installed it, so don't miss out on its new improved version, Easy Fog 2. This time, Easy Fog comes with 50 volume presets, 100 static VDBs, 20 pre animated presets, and a lot more. So, if you want to add sick looking clouds, foggy effects, and more to spice up your render, take a look at Easy Fog 2. If you use iClone and Blender, you are going to love this new add-on. It lets you animate and work inside Blender, bringing the iClone Face Puppet tool into Blender. So, if you have any iClone characters sitting in your library, it is time to bring them to life. Hand placing objects is tiresome and not accurate at all. Hand placed objects are obvious because they always look awkwardly placed and most of the time, it's hard to make them not go through other objects. If you are tired of mediocre results, take a look at this physics placer add-on. Let your world behave and look like the real thing. You just pick up the objects you want to place and throw them around using physics. They will collide and settle as expected without going through each other and saving you time hand placing one by one. Every professional software with a node tree has a node minimap, except Blender. Fortunately, Blender attracts a lot of professionals who can make their own features, and that is what Safa Guzel did. He introduced the node tree minimap so that you never lose track of where your nodes are. While this might look like a small improvement to Blender, if you start using it, you will never want to go back. Tired of fluid simulations taking years to complete for simple things like water rings? Aquaflow is your solution. It comes with its own fluids solver that works with geometry nodes and simulates fluids in real time. No need to beg, and you can draw the path you want your water to take directly using a curved object. The water comes ready with materials, foam, and splashes. No one has the time to wait for smoke simulations anymore. We are in the era of real-time simulations, and that's true for this real-time explosion generator. It has a sterilized look, so if you are looking for a realistic explosion, you may want to skip this one. But other than that, it's perfect for everything else. You can easily direct your explosion, time them however you want to have the perfect effect for your shot. Contact textures or masks for wet surfaces or tire trademarks can be set up using dynamic paint. But it takes too much time, you set up the dynamic paint canvas, brush, and then you set up a texture, materials, and so on. So most people don't use dynamic painting. But dynamic painting is still a powerful tool if it was easy to use. And this new add-on is the right upgrade we all need. Dynamic Paint Evo is an improved version of dynamic paint that merges all the clicking that goes into dynamic painting into a few clicks. It's faster, easier, and more fun. You can forget about rebaking masks for your scene changes and any headaches you have from clicking around too much because, because Dynamic Paint Evo works in real time. The time for sending nodes is over. It's time to dress up your character in style. With over 100 garments to choose from, your character will never feel underdressed with this epic preset cloth pack. While the clothing pack library will help you hide your bushes, this gardener, bushes, and hedges pack will make sure you have the bushes to hide in the first place. You have wild bushes, tripped bushes, and everything between. The art industry is a competitive industry, so it's paramount that you take advantage of the most powerful tools you can get. And for making landscapes and terrains, never skip a tool like True Terrain. You can generate any type of terrain you want, edit it, add layers and levels of detail with its layer-based system. You can add textures, materials, erosion, and more, all using one add-on. 
This month has been a month of big updates, and Cloudscape came through with a library update, adding more VDBs to its already large collection of clouds, volumes, fires, effects, and eight new categories, including chimney, fireworks, tornado, fire, polar lights, aerial explosions, ground explosions, and more. If you love UV unwrapping, you must be using the UV Square add-on because using the default tools can be a headache. The UV Square add-on adds new tools and functionality to make UV unwrapping a breeze. You can turn your UVs to a square, rip faces, and more. Another tool that was updated this week was Komikaze, giving us Komikaze version 2, adding more shaders, modifiers, compositor presets, and more for creating comic and tone style art. This manga an anime library is a collection of tools, shaders, modifiers, and effects to bring your sterilized world to life. It now includes assets like anime fire, anime tree, grass, smoke, rock, and a lot more. Ducky 3 d also came in with a major update to his real-time material collection for Blender, adding new procedure materials that include wood, fabrics, towels, plastics, and more. This library consists of drag-and-drop materials with customizable materials to adapt to your style and liking. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out all the add-ons and projects I've shown, all links are going to be in the description.